Maybe you already heard it a little bit, I'm coming, I I still play Magic the Gathering occasionally, like I go to Friday Night Magic Draft, etc. So I have kind of like the color scheme, like for example, uh, the Paladin is, I would say the standard uh, mono white color wise from the color scheme, and he's more in the direction of uh, the aggro weenie, white weenie that was, that used to be played quite a lot, and it was horribly annoying with all the Savannah lines and the Iza Izamarus and uh, all the other nasty stuff. Those are actually good. Bomb lover I don't need yet. That's pretty solid I would say. Do I have? No I don't have the coin but I have first row. Boom. But yeah, in comparison, Hearthstone is of course way simpler, but it is it is streamlined. It has like, for example, the one the thing that probably sh shoes away the most uh, Magic Gathering players Hi, is the the thing that thing and the enemy can man manipulate your turn. Basically, that he can uh, destroy your stuff. That he can do. Whatever the hell. And in this game, it is really clear when it's your turn, you're going to do shit. When it's the other guy's turn, it's the the other guy that gets to do shit. Well, I don't really care about that. Let's see, attack to one. I could also go for the Merlot Knight, but the Merlot Knight is not safe under these circumstances, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna play this fella. And the question is, should I actually. I guess I'm just gonna ignore him because next turn I can bash his f head in with the peacekeeper. So yeah. But yeah, th that's the big advantage of Harvesting because the only time um, the enemy can manipulate your turn is with secrets, but the secrets we are basically announced. Well, shit. No, my little summoner. Hugh monster. Well, before. Let's see, I could either go with the Flesh-Eating Ghoul, because there's at least one creature going to die. Uh, or True Silver. I think I'm going to True Silver Champion, clear the board, and be happy with it. That sounds like a plan. For so, beat him in the face. Beat him in the face, and beat him in the face. There we go. Good enough. Because the Murloc Knight can be extremely powerful. The best thing is if the Merlot Knight summons another random Merlot Knight, which can happen. So it can go can go completely out of proportion. Also, now the question is, because I would like the, the turn I play the Merlot Knight, I would like to actually uh, actually already use the uh, the Inspire effect. So definitely, what I'm gonna do is beat him in the face. So we can go fuck off. And then play the Silverhand Recruit. And use its effect. There we go. This looks pretty good. I think he is going to get uh, his face smashed in by me. Also, I see, kind of see the problem now that uh, if I play the Murnot Knight, I won't have any space anymore for... Won't have any space anymore. But you know the nice thing is, what I just realized is I can play the Flesh Eating Ghoul. Um, and then basically throw my shit at him. So it gets really fucking big. Which sounds like a good idea. I'm actually gonna do that. So, bonk. 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 Then I can play this basically for free. Two cards. Summon a random minion. And get another minion. Reporting for poopy. Yes, I am that immature. And now probably consecration. And I'm gonna cry. Oi. Not cool. Alright, the question is, do I deal with him, or do I just say, fuck, fuck him? Yeah, because I can just bash face and play the Sunwalker. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Right. Bash, 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 bash. Play Sunwalker. And... Oh yeah, I have too many creatures in here. I can't even play the zombie jail. Oh well. But yeah, he's kind of screwed. He would to sil need to silence my Sunwalker and get the ghoul. And then he still needs to also to consecrate everything, so... Well, he can stall like that. And a secret. Oh, there, there are too many paladin secrets. Well, it was probably something that didn't help him, because hooray! First win. Um, yeah, I think paladin is one of my least played co uh, classes, because... Yeah, I don't know. I, in Magic the, Magic, the, Magic the Gathering, white was also one of my least favorite colors. It was just kind of... yeah.